this is called Mogwanazi, which means cassava coconut cream. You can see it's so good, guys. If you if you haven't tried it, try it. channel my name is Kento Bear hi guys welcome back to my youtube channel my name is Kento Bear and in today's video you can see I'm in a different village than Kisi I'm in Msangoni Kilifi County in the Kenyan coastal so today I'm visiting a friend and when you visit a friend they cook for you the delicious delicacy in their village which today is called cassava on with coconut cream which is called um, <laughs> which is called mihogo wanazi which is currently uh cooking so let's start the video don't forget to like comment and subscribe and also donate to the channel on paypal and pesa send wave it will be on the screen below to be able to go so guys we're going to be cooking today cassava this is a cassava tree have you ever seen a cassava tree before comment down below we had to go quickly to the village market that is nearby to go and fetch cassava because cassava was not in season and it was not in stock cassavas normally they are harvested in august and we are currently in june so we took the bottle bike which was around 50 cents in usd that's 50 shenya shillings to the market to go and buy whatever was needed and it was necessary for today's village cooking we are now in the market and the cassava each one of the cassava was 40 kenyan shillings which was less than a dollar but four cassavas four or five cassavas we also bought the coconut and we are heading back to the village homestead mom of the homestead was preparing the cassava if she was peeling the cassava and just cutting them thinly into thinly slices so that can be biteable 
we were all chilling under the mango tree and it was so much fresh air everything was so chill and i was really enjoying my time in this village sanita my friend was preparing the firewood so they are washing after finishing cutting the cassava they are washing it <laughs> so now shout out to my friend Sanita she's gonna be preparing the food of today now we are preparing the coconut cream and these are fresh coconut cream from the tree from the nearby neighbor so she's grating it using the old traditional method this is called ambuzi so she's grating it. it's like a blender so you can see she's grating it preparing the coconut to milk it and this is the traditional way that coconut is prepared here so you don't even need electricity to blend or do that and it's really nice i like it the thing she's sitting on is called ambuzi so these are fresh freshly grated coconut she's gonna put inside because you can see the chickens are like willing to eat that coconut you can see from the leftovers of the coconut shell the chickens the hens are devouring it now the fowl is lit and you are ready to put the cassava with water now the cassava will be put in pieces into pan and cover with water and add salt this is where you can add ginger garlic or whatever but we're just using what's readily available in store in the farm homestead the chicken were eating the pieces of the peel cassava pieces so nothing goes to waste in the farm and i actually like this This family actually welcomed me and I'm so happy about that. I'm sitting under those are mango trees guys. Also mango is not on season until August. meal and I'm so excited to be in this village guys I feel like I'm sitting in riches you know literally I'm sitting under a mango tree huh it's only because it's not mango season we are currently in June and the mango season is end of June July that's when there's a lot of mangoes that's mango season so yeah I'm so excited guys don't don't forget to like and comment this video <music> So bring to a gentle sim until the cassava is soft enough for a knife to piece in them. Drain the water and put them back in the pan. Prepare the grated shredded coconut. We are still like removing the grated coconut from the milk. Just sieving it through. Okay. 
then and then add the co thin coconut milk and boil for about 15 minutes on gentle heat. Keep stirring, shaking every few minutes until the cassava are well coated with a thick coconut sauce. Boil for about 15 minutes on gentle heat until it starts to thicken and the cassava pieces soften more. The food was ready and we got served. Let me tell you, our, our friend was not ready to eat in front of camera. They're not comfortable with that, so they were eating off camera. Just saying for the people who will ask. I know they will ask. Guys, this is called Mogwanazi, which means cassava coconut cream, as you can see. It's so good guys. If you if you haven't tried it, try it. I'm so excited behind me is a cashew nut. You know, I've never seen a cashew tree. This is my first time seeing a cashew tree. And you can see this is the fruit for the cashew, which can also be eaten. I never knew that. Did you know that? And then this one is the cashew. When it's ripe, it's ready. These ones are being plucked and harvested and then they are roasted to the cashew nuts that we, we, we see being sold in the supermarket. So in in Swahili, this is called, cashew nut is called korosho. Let me know in your comment section down below in your language, what do you call korosho, cashew nuts? Korosho, korosho. cashew nuts, ready to be, to be roasted. Mm -hmm.
so now we've already we've finished eating now they're gonna roast for us the cashew nuts and this is one of this is ripe cashew nut you can eat the fruit and then this one will be roasted we'll show you how they roast it feeling it's sweet and tangy guys did you know that cashew nuts has a fruit that you can eat i did not know i'm learning things and i'm so happy to be in this village i'm learning so much new stuff guys did you know like uh we'll come back so it depends on how you like these videos guys i'm gonna be doing more of these videos going from village to village countrywide to document the village african village lifestyle so you know around agas that's when many farmers harvest in this village there is the cashew nuts um, coconut which is nazi coconut uh, what else cassava mangoes there's lots of mangoes but they they will harvest them in the month of agas and we're currently in the month of june so give this video if i get more than 10,000 likes guys i'm gonna be back in this village coming august and document everything learning so much stuff and it greasy you go back here this is my first time seeing a cashew tree and a cashew bat then you roast this one I'm so happy. I'm happy knowing the new fruits.
having now we are having our snack it's called cashew nut korosho let me know in your language what you call this guys this is so good it has been harvested from the tree right from the tree roasted and now i'm eating it wow this is so good so oh, guys if you like this video you're enjoying this video please support this village communities so that we can have our next village meal on paypal patreon sendwave all the details will be on the screen and on the link down on the description box i'm having the best time here i'm so happy nature makes me happy and food <laughs> this is so good guys this is a very favorite common african traditional authentic snack comment down below let me know what you call this in your language or anything that you've loved in this video let's chat below i'll just reply on the comment section so guys i'm gonna end the video here don't forget to like comment and subscribe and support the channel on the paypal patreon but most importantly i need this video to have 10,000 likes and i'll do more of these videos Thank you so much for always supporting me and I'm gonna end the video. Bye!